e to the x cubed is a composite function, so to take its derivative we need the chain rule. The derivative of f of g of x is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. In this case, our f, our outside function, is e to a power, and the g of x, our inside function, is x cubed. So here that is written out, let's go ahead and apply the chain rule to take the derivative. And real quick, how we know that e to the x is the outside function is that we can plug this in here to get our function, e to the x cubed. If we do it the other way, plugging this into this, you're not gonna get e to the x cubed. All right, for the derivative, f prime of g of x is where we start. That's the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function unchanged. The derivative of e to a thing is just e to that thing, and we can't change the thing, so e to the x cubed. But then by the chain rule, we need to multiply by the derivative of that thing. We need to multiply by g prime. g is x cubed, so we multiply by 3x squared. Finally, just for style, we'll move the 3x squared to the front. This is how most people would prefer to write it. 3x squared, e to the x cubed. Anytime you're taking the derivative of e to some function, it's just going to be e to that function multiplied by the derivative of that function. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlist in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Love. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.